I'm in Houston, and guess who I found? Ah, it's Dr. Doug Lyle, for, you know, the author of The Pleasure Tramp. Oh, this is so cool. So, I asked him if he would say a few encouraging words for you all because you've been working so hard. I'm so proud of you all. Uh, he said yes. Isn't that awesome? What could you share with them? Well, if you're if you're new to this or, or you're newly excited about this, uh, one of the one of the best moves you can make is to to go against your own instincts, which are going to tell you to share this with everybody and to be all excited about it and jump up and down and explain to them how you've got the answers for their ills. Uh, what I would recommend you do uh, for for a good long while with this is to go against those instincts and instead. Come at it with much humility, and humility is that you're trying this experiment, you're not sure that these guys are right about everything, but it seems like there's a lot of good ideas here, and you're going to give this a try for a while, and you're going to see what happens. And in, in this, when they ask you where you get your protein from, you tell them, gee, I don't know. Just keep very <laughs> humble, and essentially, let's chase away the arguments. Uh, uh, by saying that we're not sure we're right, and when they say, "Oh, well, you're going to get sick and die," you're like, "Well, could be," you know. We'll just see what happens, and um, and I can, you know, I'm checking with my doc, and it seems to make some sense, and and just have this kind of very loose, humble, you know, somewhat uncertain but excited. That's a good stance. That's a very very powerful position. Uh, when they start to checkmate us and say, "Oh no, well, I just read a study that said such and such," you say, "Oh, could be." Okay, and we, we, we stay in this place while you get your feet under you, and so you don't lose your way and get sidetracked uh, uh, with the process of trying to convince anybody else, when what we need to do is just actually move this thing inward for a while until we really get it under our hands. That, that's what I would try to encourage people to do. Awesome. Okay? Oh, that was great, wasn't it? Do we have any questions from the audience? Is it true that we need to ingest fat to absorb the fat-soluble vitamins in certain foods? Oh. That we need to ingest the fat in order to get the... You know, I never worry about any of this. Just oh, eat whole food and forget it. Yes. Uh, if you eat whole food, you're not going to be short of anything. Uh, the one thing that vegans need to be careful about, obviously, is B12. And so you should supplement B12. There's no reason not to supplement B12. Uh, but everything else, just eat natural food and don't sweat it. Awesome. One more question. Sure. Um, what's the best way to switch the channel when you're wanting food you know is bad, like craving fast food? Yes. Uh, she says, I associate good times with eating, so what's the best way to change that type of thinking? Yeah, you're going to have to, sometimes if you're a little bit open and adventurous and this starts to feel a little bit narrow, you're going to have to have some healthy treats. And you're going to have to have them in mind, and you're going to have to have the ingredients in your home, in your freezer, wherever it is. It's going to have to get under your hands pretty quickly. And you're going to, you're going to go through a process when you reach for that and do it that way, instead of the really rich, out-of-control, junky, drug-like well way. If we do it the right way, you can start to get used to it. And as you get used to that that's going to be your solution, then the craving process, which is actually a very sophisticated psychophysiological process, you crave more when you are used to eating the junk. You have to go through a process of the system not being used that it's going to get hit with it. Um, and as, as you go through several incidences where you may have craved but you instead gave something much healthier, then the cravings start to dissipate. And that, that's how, that is exactly how that process works. You must walk through that, that process in order to get to where we need to go. And you can do it. Yes. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Awesome. Wasn't Thank this great? He's so awesome. <laughs> All right. We'll see y'all later. Bye.